This presentation is an analysis of Nathaniel Hawthorne's short story, Young Goodman Brown. Allegory Nathaniel Hawthorne's short story, Young Goodman Brown, is an allegory or a symbolic narrative in which the surface details imply a secondary meaning in which characters represent moral qualities. In this story, allegory is used to comment on the nature of faith and humanity's propensity towards sin. Goodman Brown represents the average man, shown by his name, which is a very common name, and in that it is of the color brown, which is, implies being dirty or sinful. Faith represents young Goodman Brown's faith in God, which is not very strong, as she is unsuccessful in keeping her husband from traveling down the path to sin. The pink ribbons in Faith's hair are symbolic of her faith, which is a mixture of red, symbolic of evil, anger, or sin, and white, symbolic of purity. Thus, her faith is not completely pure or evil. Young Goodman Brown's traveling companion is the devil, who guides him down the path towards sin. The forest path is symbolic of sin or temptation. Significant Literary Terms this is a non-realistic story that mixes the features of the supernatural, fantastical, or surrealistic with realistic conventions, such as the traveling companion staff turning into a serpent, the clouds mysteriously moving across the sky without any wind, and people flying on broomsticks along with what seems like a fairly realistic story. The setting is in and outside of Salem, Massachusetts during the Puritan times. The story uses dramatic irony, or a discrepancy between what a character thinks and what the audience or another character thinks, in that Goodman Brown says of his family, We are a people of prayer, and good works to boot, and abide by no such wickedness. Brown thinks this is true, but the devil laughs at him, and the reader knows that Brown is not good, good or he would not be on the path of sin leading to his ultimate damnation. Also, Goodman Brown's decision to mistrust and judge everyone else is dramatic irony, because he does not recognize his own moral failures and lack of faith, but we as readers do. The theme of the story is the sinful nature of humankind, criticism of Puritan hypocrisy, and criticism of the judgmental nature of humanity. The conflict in the story is Brown's internal conflict between his desire to give in to sinful temptation versus his desire to be a good Christian, and the external conflict between Brown and the devil. The author's tone or attitude about the subject of sin is critical of Brown and his judgment of others' sins, when he himself is sinful also, as we all are. The climax or turning point in the story takes place when Brown declares, My faith is gone. Up to this point, Brown tries to hold on to his weak faith and resist the path of sin towards the witch's meeting up to this point. As soon as he gives up his faith, though, he seems to almost fly down the path to the meeting and becomes demonic in his laugh and attitude. In the resolution, he judges everyone he has seen that evening and turns his back on his wife, and dies a lonely old man. Important Quotes Hawthorne shows Faith's inability to keep her husband, Goodman Brown, from sin when he writes, Dearest heart, whispered she, softly and rather sadly, when her lips were close to his ear, prithee put off your journey until sunrise and sleep in your own bed tonight. A lone woman is troubled with such dreams and such thoughts that she's afeard of herself sometimes. Pray tarry with me this night, dear husband of all nights in the year. Another is Goodman Brown shows his weak faith when he says, Faith kept me back a while. And the moment right before the climax is described when Hawthorne writes, but something fluttered lightly down through the air and caught on the branch of a tree. The young man seized it and beheld a pink ribbon. And the climax of the story is illustrated in the line, My faith is gone, cried he after one stupefied moment. There is no good on earth, and sin is but a name. Come devil, for to thee is this world given. Young Goodman Brown's sinfulness is illustrated when Hawthorne writes right after the climax, 
and maddened with despair, so that he laughed loud and long, did Goodman Brown grasp his staff and set forth again, at such a rate that he seemed to fly along the forest path rather than to walk or run. And Goodman Brown's fate is described with the line, A stern, a sad, a darkly meditative, a distrustful, if not a desperate man, did he become from the night of that fearful dream. Lastly, Goodman Brown's life is summed up with the lines, They carve no hopeful verse upon his tombstone, for his dying hour was gloom, which suggests that he is damned to hell for judging others so harshly when he himself is clearly as sinful as everyone else. This line also suggests the sin of judging others that the Puritans, as well as humanity in general, were guilty of. <laughs>